Here we go. Let's go around the bases on a Monday because for a few years now, we have been excited about this team, the Blue Jays. And as they swept the Mets, Dan, there was so much good. Vlad heating up, patience at the plate. The pitching was coming together. This is what we've expected the past couple of years. And that's why I'm now jumping off the boat. I still think they're a World Series contending. Really? I do. Not jumping off the boat. What do you think, Al? Very talented team. Wow, that, and that's we've said that for three years now. I feel like in March, all of us have said, "Ah, oh, don't, don't." They surprised the me because Lauren, I thought in April, I made this prediction on MLB tonight. I thought by July first, they would be in first place and overtake the Rays. And then they went into this swoon. Very talented roster. I think the everyday lineup, you could match up with anybody. Agreed. One guy, and Al and I are going to touch on it, they got to figure out Alec yes. Manoa and get yeah. him going again. Manoa pitches tonight yeah. against the Astros. I mean, you t I mean, if Manoa gets going, I mean, what, what Bassett did on Friday? Gosman. Gosman. Kikuchi. Rios was really good Saturday. Kikuchi yesterday. They've got a good closer in Romano. Yeah. They've moved Pearson to the bullpen, even though he gave up two solo home runs yesterday. But it's a very talented team. No, I feel you. Right. You say with the sliders and the curveball, nobody could hit him. Well, the yeah. lineup. Yeah. Speaking good. of really good pitching good. performances, Tristan McKenzie, Dan, uh, making his season debut for the Cleveland Guardians yesterday as they sweep the Minnesota Twins. Uh, it was a lineup that did not have Kirilov, Buxton, and Correa all nursing illnesses and or injuries. But man, for his first outing, Dan, to do this, that's excellent. Yeah, you know, he's kind of like this new wave guy, Al. That four-seam fastball right it up in the strike zone. Good curveball, good slider. His fastball, breaking ball usage about 50-50 yesterday. Live arm, skinny guy, a lot of whip to his action. There's a lot I'm of a, elbows and arms. It is. There's a lot of moving parts, <laughs> but one of the things, his ball just has another gear, gear out. When it gets to home plate, the ball that's low gets there with authority, and that ball that's up, it just seems like it got a little rise at yeah. The hop. So, uh, uh, induced vertical break. He's got good ele uh, the elevated fastball. I, I, it really comes down to his curveball. Watching that game yesterday, I mean, it's not a little side angle sweeper. It's a, it drops and it's got great spin rate. Uh, it's about, it's about health, right? I mean, it is with the, him. The shoulder issue, you know, just he's thin. So like how the usage for uh, what they do for him to make sure. That and for the going. Guardians, it's about offense. Can they score enough? To support their pitching staff and also Emmanuel Classe got the you know he's pitched in a lot of games yeah. he's got building up a early workload they got to find a way to maybe ease back a little bit they do and interesting I was reading a note that 40 games already the Indians or Guardians have been decided by two runs or less so yep. they they play in nail biters all the time they never score a lot of runs and it, it's so hard to win like that with such good pitching and such velocity to get four or five hits innings to score three or four runs, it's hard to do. Well, last year it was the same narrative for them, right? Stringing yeah. together hits and mm -hmm. winning games by one run, but it worked and they mm -hmm. went into the postseason. How about Aaron Judge at the top of his game last year? This is wild. I saw this. I saw this stat. We're going to bring up this board in just a second, and I was blown away because last year when he hit 62, what did so many people say? Oh, there's they no said, way he can do oh, it. Oh, there's no way he can do it again. You're paying for pass. What? Get to know me, Aaron Judge. He <laughs> Is exactly where he was last That's year. That's crazy. That this is, is absolutely nuts. crazy. Yeah. Wow. And he's battled aches and pains compared to last season. What? Slugging better than he did last year at this time. My opinion, he's the best player in the game. And I know a lot of Braves fans are going to say Ronald Acuna Jr., but I don't think he is more important to his team than any team in the big leagues right now. Could you imagine where the Yankees would be, Lauren, if he would have left and signed somewhere else? I mean, mm. he has been a one-man wrecking crew. Went on the I.O., came back. He's done nothing but hit since. Ran through a wall in Dodger Stadium on Saturday. He plays great defense. He's a leader. He's, every, he's the face of baseball, in my opinion. And now he's dealing with a toe injury, and he wasn't in the lineup on Sunday. You saw him when Anthony Volpe hit that home run yeah. in the ninth. He was top step. He's great. Hey, listen, superstars and I'm not, this is an indictment on all guys, but what he did in that game of running into literally the fence, smashes through it, hopefully he doesn't have a broken toe. But how many guys would would not quite have that effort, especially when we just signed a, a, a multi, multi uh, big deal for him? You know, I think Captain, the cool, yeah, the coolest like, thing about him is he, you know, Dodgers fans will argue this. He, he plays in the biggest market and he embraces it. He embraces being a Yankee. He embraces being a captain. He's, in my opinion, the face of baseball. He's everything good that's about the yes. game of baseball, and he's playing with the right team in the right city, and it's just a perfect match. Nestor Cortez likely to go on the injured yeah. list, miss a couple of starts maybe with a shoulder injury. Carlos Rodon set to face live batters uh, for the first time okay, good. Uh, in a while. That'll be on they Wednesday. Need That'll be a Wednesday.
Uh, meantime, Liam Hendricks getting this win yesterday, his first win of the season. And coincidentally, coincidentally, it just happens to come on National Cancer Survivors Day. Uh, Al, he, he brings energy, he brings emotion, and he's one of the best closers in the game. And more importantly, he's a really good dude. Yeah. I think we're all rooting for him. I mean, him. look, I mean, even that, right? I mean, look, non Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage four. Like, yeah. he's coming in the studio. Yes, tomorrow. tomorrow. He'll be with us, yeah. Yeah, so uh, look forward to talking to him. Big personality. Uh, but look, I mean, you know, a couple years ago, he's had a nice little run of three years of being an elite guy in, in baseball as a closer. Um, super emotional, as you can see. I think it propels him in a lot of ways to get to get out. He pitches angry. Is that, is that true? Is a certain personality kind of typecast to be a closer? Does that matter? Do That's good. Think? Lauren, it does. <laughs> you, you have to be half out there. And I know, <laughs> Lauren, you're going, oh, I, I know, <laughs> Dan. Yeah, no, you have to. You know what, right? what makes it so yeah. difficult, Lauren? You get to the ballpark every day, and the score has to be a certain way for you to get in that game. So you get there, you get prepared, you're watching the first few innings, you're trying to keep it light, you're trying to keep it loose. Then around the fifth inning, it's five to one, now it's five to three, and you're looking through where that lineup's gonna turn over, and that phone rings. And yeah, you have to have like, you have to like kind of like living on the edge and just yeah. kind of like every day is a new day. And but show, show, people show it differently. When you watch that, it looks a little bit of showy, right? But I think of Dennis Eckersley all those years yeah. of that. That, And I've asked him, I said, did you, try, you ever try to show up? Like, no, it's like, I was so into it. it. He was talking about being scared to death and nervous. Like how guys handle it. Yeah, you, the, the, the scary part of it, it's not when you actually get up to warm up. It's getting to that point yeah. in the Four. sixth and seventh inning when you're sitting there and you're rocking back and forth. You're like, okay. And the phone ring. Once the phone rings, you're like, okay. You kind of get to unleash the, you know, you get to yes. do your thing. But it's the waiting from like the fifth inning to the eighth inning. It's awful. <laughs> Third yeah, best. It is. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> yeah.